Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Welcome back to Dash of Spices. Today I'm going to share with you my version of beef stew using the Ensign pot. I hope you're going to like this video. And for ingredients, what I have here is a beef chuck roast um, that I slice into bite size and some vegetable, uh, garlic, onions, chicken bouillon, um, poultry seasoning to season the beef and some black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, the garlic and herb seasoning, bay leaves, uh, garlic and Himalayan salt, and also some sage powder. First thing is I'm gonna marinate the beef with Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, um, salt, poultry seasoning, and some sage powder. All I have to do is mix this together and let it sit for about two to five minutes before cooking them. So after five minutes on an instant pot, set that to saute mode. Add some oil, just a little, just to cover the pot. Add the beef, cook the beef until they are brown. Completely brown, just like that. Then remove this beef, put it um, on a plate, set it aside. Make sure you turn off the Instant Pot. And then also you're going to take the sauce or the broth right here. Put this in a separate container because we're going to use that later on for our broth set that aside and then back in the instant pot set it back again to saute mode and add some garlic add the onions saute them together and then back the add the beef and just mix that together and then just add the rest of the ingredients. Start with seasoning it with, again, with sage, mix. And then some wine. I just use just regular red wine, whatever wine you have. Mix that together. Season this with salt. Garlic powder onion powder garlic and herb this is a must-have seasoning this is so good black pepper and then add all the veggies now i'm just using here is just celery carrots and potato you could add whatever veggies you have and then add that broth back bay leaves chicken stock about like a cup of chicken stock and just simply mix this you don't even have to mix it but i like to mix them uh in some pot supposed to be prevent you from mixing it's just one pot and then add water or you could add a beef broth water just enough to cover all the ingredients also don't forget to add the chicken bouillon set this on a pre pressure for about an hour and after an hour quick release or just let it sit for about five to ten minutes but if you're in a hurry like me just quick release it that will take about five minutes and once that metal indicator is pushed down that means you could take the lid off and there you go it is so good and this is my family's favorite now if you want this a little bit creamy you could always add a little bit of cornstarch but Mine, I like it just like that. And give it a taste. And then you could adjust the seasoning if you want. And just serve this. Top it with the parsley. And also you could pair this with the white rice. Or we like to pair ours uh, white rice and a garlic toast. And this is it. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Ciao!